In applications such as Stata or SPSS, when you want to make a change to a model or a visualization, usually a uh, dialog box will open up and you specify your changes, hit OK, and then you'll see the result that you're looking for. Gradient doesn't work quite that way. Uh, in fact, I'm here on the Visualize tab in Data. As soon as I change a selection, a new plot is created. And so I'm just scrolling through the different variables and I get to see histograms for each one. Now this is very nice if you just quickly want to and interactively want to uh, explore what's going on in your data. But suppose now that I want to select multiple variables and create multiple histograms. Well, one way to do that would be to hit the shift key and then press the down arrows on your keyboard. And that works great, but what you'll notice is that every time I change the selection, all the plots are recreated. Now that may be fine, but could be inefficient if you are uh, working with big, bigger data sets. So suppose I want to create histograms for all the variables in my data. A couple ways to do that. One would be to use your mouse and just drag down the variables you want. When you've got the selection set, just let go and the plots will be created. Or you can, let's say you want to create all, uh, select all the variables in your data. On a Mac, that would be Command A. On Windows, it would be Control A. And now we have, for all the variables in our data set, we have our histograms. Another option is to press Shift and then scroll down to the end of all the variable list and then click on your mouse. And again, that will select all the variables. This is just a, a small tip, just to make selecting of variables a little more efficient and make the analysis a little faster.